Hey YouTube, welcome to this GIMP tutorial, and today in GIMP, we're going to be making a underwater wallpaper. Uh, I guess it, it would be a good background for the projects that you might be doing. Um, this is going to be a little bit advanced because you're going to be using the perspective tool, which is located right here and is a little bit tricky. But um, oh, I think we're going to be getting through it, and hopefully you will learn a little bit more about it. Um, basically, it's going to be a submarine that is uh, almost out of your, uh, you can barely see it, but um, with some shading you're going to make it pretty visible, and um, you're going to be adding the water texture, and everything is uh, from scratch other than the submarine, which is always optional. Um, like if you're making a logo, you probably wouldn't have the submarine here. But uh, let's get started. So we're going to make a new image, 1024 by 768, and click OK. We're going to set our, uh, <coughs> sorry about that, <coughs> we're going to set our foreground color to uh, 17897D, which is the HTML notation. Um, so it's basically a turquoise color about uh, right here. I'm going to have, <coughs> I'm really sorry about that, black as our background color. And then take our gradient tool and um, FG to BG, linear and uh, non-repeating. And we're just going to stroke down. I'd say that's pretty good. You want to have a good mix of the of the bottom being pretty dark because you want the lighter or the top to be light. Basically the light is only going to be able to um, get uh, not very far down if it's in the water. So um, I'd say that's pretty good. If it's any, if it's like that then it's too much black. If it's like that too little so I'd say. <coughs> I think that's good. Alright uh, now what we're going to do is um, add the waves so uh, we're going to make a new layer go filters render clouds solid noise um, we're going to click randomize put the detail up to 5 the X size I'd say around 5 and the Y size around 10 I'm going to click OK and make sure you click randomize we're going to do that again And you'll notice, if even though you click repeat solid noise, since you clicked randomize, they're going to be different. And we're going to do that a couple more times. And one more, I'd say. Alright, and we're going to put these all on a uh, difference. Except for the uh, original one that we made. And if you put this one on difference, uh, you'll see that some of the blue starts shining through. <clears throat> so we're gonna, just going to keep it on normal. Uh, now what we're going to do is take our perspective tool and uh, actually apply this to the um, this part or to the background. So we're going to click on it. Whoop! You have to uh, actually we should merge all these down by. Uh, clicking the eye on the background and clicking image merge visible layers <clears throat> and clicking merge you can remerge or uh, click the eye again on the background layer um, and we did that just so that we don't have to scale every individual layer so we're going to click on the first layer click on it and I'm going to move this up to about right there I'd say about half the image and try and make sure that's not incredibly crooked. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but <clears throat> as long as it doesn't look like that, I think then you should be good. Um, I'd say like that, maybe. No, I think a little bit more down. Yeah, I'd say that's good. <clears throat> And you're just going to extend these pretty far out. I'd say that's pretty much good. Um, and maybe a little bit more like that. 
Okay, and then you're going to click Transform. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer mask. And um, what you can do is click D, which puts these, uh, these two colors to default, and then click X, which inverts them. And um, uh, we're going to click Etchy to BG. And on the layer mask, we're just going to uh, go like that. And um, you can put this on grain merge, I believe. And we're going to change with the brightness and contrast. And uh, tone down the brightness and up the contrast. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, uh, so you just keep on playing around with it, and I think I think that looks good. Um, yeah, I think I think that that looks good as a good ocean top. Um, and just trying to get it to look like a wave. So another thing I, you can do is uh, blur it. So um, whoops, you're gonna actually click on this one. Filters, uh, reshow Gaussian blur, and um, I'm gonna be turning it up a little bit more to six. That looks good. And um, distorts. And let's try ripple. Um, we're going to put the period all the way up. And uh, mess around with the amplitude. I'm putting it at 38. And a phase shift at 7 and a 44. So 244 and 7. And click OK. And you see it kind of warps it around. Um, so it does kind of have that wavy feel, and that's what you're looking for. Um, I'm not really liking uh, this part up here, so I'm going to get a fuzzy brush, um, and I'm going to make this size a little bit bigger, and then on this one, I'm just going to clone over. Um, basically, you just want to take away these big patches and make it look a little bit more wavy. But I think that looks pretty good. Um, and now what we can do is uh, add the uh, light beam. But before we do that, we're going to want to add a highlight. So put uh, white as your foreground color. Click FG to transparent. Actually, you can keep it on FG to BG. Make sure it's the RGB one. Um, and shape radial. And we're going to make a new layer. Uh, whoops. That was a new image. And we are just going to uh, go like that and click. Um, we're going to put it on a uh, grain merge. And then, since it's a little bit too much there, we're going to add a layer mask. And then um, put it on. Um, uh, not on radio, on linear. And, uh, whoops. We're gonna actually, um, go like that. Alright, now what we're going to do is uh, actually add the rays of light, which will be coming out from here. Um, so basically what we're going to do is create a new layer. Go to our gradient tool and put the gradient on... Uh, there we go. Uh, flare rays size 1. Put the shape on... Uh, Bilinear, repeat on sawtooth, wave, and on the new layer, um, 
we're going to um, basically make a selection around here. Whoops. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, and then we're going to uh, stroke that. I'd say maybe a little bit smaller like that. That is good. And um, we can make click select none. And then on this layer, we're actually going to go layer, layer to, uh, or uh, auto crop layer. There we go. And then we're going to go filters, uh, distorts, polar coordinates. And um, we're going to put the circle depth to 100, offset angle. You can play with that. I'm going to put mine. Um, let's say about like that. Click OK. And then put the layer mode on green merge. We're going to move it right to there. And um, we're going to add a layer mask. Um, and then put our gradient on FG to BG. And, um, whoops. And our shape on linear. Oh, and then no repeat, so. Um, and then, actually, if you want to, you can put the shape on radial. And, um, sort of go like that. And then I think that should be good. Oops. And, um, we're going to apply the layer mask. And then, if it's not light enough for you, uh, what you can do is make a new layer. Uh, put the gradient on FG to transparent, and then just uh, stroke down, and put the layer mode on grain merge, and just tone down uh, the opacity a little bit. And so um, that sort of sort of shows like the sun peering out of the the waves on top. And now what we can do is. Um, uh, add the submarine. So what you're going to go to is uh, just go on uh, Google uh, google.com click images and search in submarine and uh, I believe it is down here um, right here. You're going to click on this one. Click copy image. And um exit out of that. And then click edit paste. Make it a new layer. You're going to use the color selection tool. Click on the white and click delete. Since it has an alpha channel, it won't just fill it in back with white, it'll fill it in with the uh, transparency. You can uh click select invert fill it in with black and, and under tool options you're going to click fill whole selection you're going to fill it in with black you can select none and we're going to bring it down to about right here we're going to alpha to selection it make a new layer put what is your foreground color with it as uh, after you to transparent and um, whoops. you're going to put the shape on linear And uh, with that being done, you're going to put the layer mode on green merge. You can select none. You can go filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to blur this by a lot. So like 14. And then alpha to selectionist. Click control I. 
and then on your white layer just click delete and you can select none and uh, we're gonna link these two together or if you want since we're on a uh, 2.8 make a layer group and uh, add these both to it oh, my uh, stupid uh, Camtasia when you record you can't really make these to a layer group so if you weren't recording then you can add these two to a layer group then you wouldn't have to click the chain but we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way and uh, we're just gonna move these lower and um, uh, what we can do is add a layer mask because on this side it seems like it's um, like this is too light for uh, being in the shadows so what we can do is um, I believe if we put it as um, black and then with the gradient then we can sort of fade this area out um, maybe that one was a little bit too much like that and so you can see it sort of fades off and um, it really makes a nice effect so um, that's all for today definitely gonna have some better tutorials coming up in the future I'm thinking of making a um, pretty sweet wallpaper <clears throat> um, basically like a sport for your sport team um, just how to make it pretty sweet uh, so that'll be coming out soon I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go through with that but I've just been playing around with a few ideas um, so I'm gonna keep on uploading content and uh, hopefully another one will be out soon so thank you for watching this tutorial um, if you have any suggestions or um, just want to let me know how you think I'm doing um, then just leave it in the comment section below and that'll be really helpful you know feedback is always great so uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and have a great day